Hello and welcome to the History of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Today's episode, Tom Servo. Tom Servo is one of two robot co-hosts built by Joel Robinson to act as a companion and to help stave off madness as he is forced to watch low-quality movies made by the Mads on Mystery Science Theater 3000. He is somewhat more mature and cynical than his companion, Crow T. Robot. He was at first somewhat arrogant and yet comes off as highly sensitive. As his puppeteer is already seated in the theater, when the others arrive, Servo is usually shown to be carried in by the host. But there are some episodes where he is shown entering the theater on his own. In Robot Holocaust, he tells Joel that there is a heat vent that he finds difficult to hover over, and thus needs some assistance. In Season 11, with the advances in green screen and remote control technology, this handicap is removed, as Tom can now fly in the theater. Servo's personality changed slightly through the series. In the early years, Servo was somewhat pompous and even arrogant towards the other characters. Gradually, these traits were softened, and although Tom let his pride get the better of him on several occasions, he also showed more thoughtfulness towards the others, though not necessarily tact. Tom was also easily rattled on several occasions, often letting his temper get the better of him, or showing little patience, especially after being teased by Crow. He is highly intellectual and often shows a deeper and more complex level of thought than the other satellite residents. This is demonstrated more overtly in the episode The Undead, when he scored the highest on the Observer's IQ test, even scoring higher than one of the Observers themselves. In an uncommon display of humility, Tom downplays the achievement, saying that he just tests well. This is shown to be true when Tom is taken to the Observer's planet. Since he can't read any minds on his own, the brain he carries is actually an olive. Servo also has an inferiority complex about his size and shape. Being insulted when called stout and often altering his form in attempts to improving his body, or making himself more imposing, such as in the Puma Man, he is tired of being called short and adds height enhancing extensions to his hover skirt. He also comes across as highly sensitive at times when pushed too far, and so comes off as more emotionally vulnerable, often needing consolation from Joel or Mike. It is often due to his inferiority complex, his own impulsiveness, or his frustration caused by his intelligence, or his nerve being challenged. Though he likely wouldn't admit it, one of Servo's biggest sensitive subjects was his head, as was mentioned in a fan letter read in episode 302, The Unearthly. Servo's head, while transparent, could not be seen through while he was in the theater, and he also had no physical eyes to watch the movie with. Servo denied hiding anything despite Joel's and Crow's incessive nagging. The empty space inside Servo's head often allowed Crow and Mike or Joel ample opportunities to fill it with stuff, such as the m and seen in the earlier theme song and Mike's brother Eddie's cigarette ashes towards the end of the ape. It was also seen as a plastic tube when Servo got a haircut in episode 203, full of Ken doll heads to emphasize lightheadedness in episode 506, and slime to a disc in the Lost in Space Robot episode 821, Time Chasers. Servo also enjoys singing, especially after Kevin Murphy took over as puppeteer. He frequently sang songs of the object of affection, such as Tibby and the Creepy Girl, and on one occasion even tamed an enraged gorilla with his fine baritone voice. His singing also helped emphasize his ego, which is seen in the violent years, when he sings his own Richard Wagner-esque theme song for the Mads. In addition, Servo has red-green color blindness and is the owner of a red toy car which he uses to run Crow over on several occasions, an extensive underwear collection, and a large number of duplicates of himself. In Season 11, Tom receives several upgrades including gaining the ability of flying in the theater and being able to move his arms. In Episode 1101, Reptilicus, he mistakenly goes into sleep mode and marches into the disintegrator. However, one of his clones resists doing so and replaces him, and is subsequently treated interchangeably with the original Servo. Thank you for watching the History of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Special thanks to the MST3K Wiki for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.